Is this happening to you? Then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to easily defeat the Shadows of Yharnam. There's three Shadows of Yharnam. There's one with a katana, one with a katana and a candle, and one with a cudgel and fire. I'll just show you the weapon that we're using, which is a saw cleaver plus six, with some physical attack blood gems in it. We'll be taking out these Shadows of Yharnam in a specific order. The first one we'll be taking out is the katana, then we'll be taking out the fire and cudgel, then we'll be taking out the candlestick last. Feel free to use any fire paper or beast blood pellets in this fight if you want to, and we'll also be taking in 20 throwing knives for a specific reason, which I'll mention in just a moment. You might not need to use these throwing knives, but I'll show you in this video how we use them to make this fight easier for us. As you start the fight, make sure to have your saw cleaver extended, and then run into the middle of the shadows and use R2. You should be able to hit all all of the shadows with one swing then roll away to safety essentially with this fight we just go around the arena the two katana shadows will be close to us and the one that casts fire tends to stay further away the idea with this is to get one or two attacks on the katana shadow whilst keeping our eyes peeled for the fire shadow casting the fireballs our first task is to get the katana shadow down to just above 30 percent hp remaining getting them down to this amount of hp is quite specific because if you reduce their hp further than that that it will push them into their next phase and that's what we're trying to avoid at this point. The top health bar is the katana shadow that we're focusing on first. Also if you look very closely at their health bars you'll see a white line just underneath. Use this white line to measure their health. When it gets to around here this is when you should stop dealing damage to that specific shadow. After we've got the katana shadow down to around there our next target will be the fire shadow. Just keep in mind that the fire casting shadow is squishier than the katana shadows so they'll take more damage when you hit them. So continue to move around the arena, dodge the katana strikes, watch out for the fireballs, and get in some attacks on the fire shadow when you can do. Usually a good time to get in some attacks is when the katana shadows are attacking or doing one of their combos. That should give you an opportunity to go and attack the fire shadow. Try to keep your camera in a position where you can see all shadows on the screen at the same time. To help with this I tend to not lock on during most of this fight. If you can see their health is quite close to hitting 30% HP remaining, but you feel that your weapon attack will push them too far, this is where the throwing knives come in. So you can target a shadow and then use a throwing knife to take a small amount of HP away. This might take some practice to get used to the amount of HP that this will take off. After you've got the fire shadow and the katana shadow down to just over 30% HP remaining, then try to separate the fire shadow and the katana shadow from each other. The next part you want to be doing as much damage as you can do, so perhaps use a fire paper and a beast blood pellet just before we do this. When the fire shadow and the katana shadow are separated, this is when we're going to kill the katana shadow. So when you see a good opportunity, focus on the katana shadow and take them out. This will now start to push all of the shadows into the next phase. If you can do, and it's safe to do this, after you've killed the katana shadow, focus straight away on the fire shadow. If you can take this fire shadow out straight away, it will make this fight a lot easier, but don't worry too much. If it doesn't get taken out straight away, you can just continue to run around the arena, dodging attacks, keep looking out for windows of opportunity to attack the fire shadow, and eventually you'll take them out. Just be aware in this phase that there's a lot more attacks to look out for, which is why it's a lot easier to take the fire shadow out straight away if possible. When you do kill the fire shadow, you then want to go straight over to the candle shadow instantly. Put in one attack on the candle shadow, they'll then sidestep, put in one attack again, we'll then sidestep again, and just keep repeating this until the candle shadow dies. By keeping this candle shadow in this loop, they'll never be able to do any other attacks, they won't be able to summon any snakes, and it'll make this last phase nice and easy. With this fight, just be very careful with the amount of HP that you reduce, because that 30% point is crucial to making this strategy work. With a bit of practice, time, and patience, you should have this fight mastered in no time. Hopefully you found this guide useful and it helped you out in some way. If it did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments section below if you've got any questions or queries.